Yes, uh, tutorial number three, that's where you're at. And in this tutorial, we're going to finish our sketch. Uh, and so you'll need your ruler handy, you'll need your fine liner, and also your art line 170 permanent marker to go around the outside edges. So the first thing we're going to do is actually pick up our ruler and our art line marker and go around the outside edge, the perimeter only of our sketch. And the idea here is we're sort of hiding, see these construction lines where I've gone a little bit too far? We're sort of hiding those and making this sketch stand out against them. So we're just going to go around the outside perimeter. While the ruler's in that bottom one, I might do all the vertical lines at once, save a bit of time. Putting it up in this one. Over here, and you just want to go just around the outside, just the perimeter. Don't be tempted to do any lines inside your sketch. We're going to go back over those little lines with the fine liner just to make them stand out. And this will just sort of make our design sketch a bit clearer. You'll be able to see the detail much better of your design sketch. Notice how slow I'm going as well. And what that's doing is allowing the ink to come out of the pen a lot thicker and really make my design stand out. And this sort of this is the way we get rid of all those construction lines that might have gone a little bit too far. And it just means that our eye is drawn to the natural shape of our design rather than those little lines where we might have taken them too far. I'm not going to do the whole sketch. You can go around and do that on your own. I might stop there. The last thing that I'm going to do is just add a few little uh, notes uh, to this sketch. So for example, over here I've got my joining technique. I'm just going to do a little sort of squiggly arrow and we're going to call them some pop rivets. And let's say, for example, this section here, well, we need to explain the construction technique. So, for example, here, we've got a score line. Down the bottom here needs to be cut. So that's a cut line. And you might label this section a cutout. And any other features of your design that you have. And there we go. we finished. So what I might do is pop design number one. over there and uh, now all you have to do is take a photo of that and put it into your blog. Uh, I think we asked for three design sketches so you can move on to uh, the cylindrical design sketch shoots now. I'll show you how to do one of those and then it'll be a matter of coming up with your own designs.